ugly pair of film stars. They don't deliver lines properly, they can't wear sunglasses, and they're pretty ugly. Actually, apart from the ugly bit, that would fit most of Hollywood, wouldn't it? Probably would, wouldn't it? Portia and Annie are a pair of bulldogs who are in a film which was shot entirely in the West and has just been screened at Cannes. Robert Murphy met the unlikely heroes. Preparing for stardom. They've had film premiere suits especially made, although they still have problems wearing the sunglasses. They star in a film called Lost Dogs, a canine kidnap comedy caper, which is due to be released next month. It stars Tom Watt of EastEnders fame and Leslie Joseph from Birds of a Feather. It was filmed entirely in Bristol. It also features Annie and Portia. They're pedigree bulldogs raised in Melksham by breeders Trevor and Jeanette Jones, who were amazed when the film's producers contacted them. How did they take to being filmed? They were fantastic. Absolutely, they have no formal training for it, but they were absolutely brilliant. And uh, did they, th they have their own caravan or anything like that? No, sadly not. They did want their, their 40-foot Winnebago, but it didn't arrive in time. <laughs> it would be a just fantastic memento at the end of the day, you know, when we're old and grey, we can bore the grandchildren to death with it. And, um, you know, it's a British film with a British crew, you know, made with British money, and we just hope it's a success. And British Bulldogs? British Bulldogs, indeed, yes. Tell me what they want us to do. It's just been shown at the Cannes Film Festival. It didn't win a Palm Door Prize, but these canines were highly praised in the jokey Palm Dog category for performing pooches. And what does the future hold for them? Well, George Lucas wants to sign them for the sci-fi trilogy Star Paws. And then there's the dark mafia thriller, The Dog Father. But until these opportunities come, walkies is the nearest they're going to get to a lead role. Robert Murphy, ITV West News, Melksham.